Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome along to this channel. Today I'm going to briefly share an updated Facebook Pixel installation tutorial for Shopify and walk you through this simple Facebook Pixel creation and installation setup for Shopify in 2023. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive in, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and set up the Facebook Pixel with your Shopify store. <music> Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into this updated Facebook Pixel tutorial for Shopify. To get started, what you want to do is first head over to your Shopify store. Once you've logged in, simply navigate over to the left hand side and locate apps. Then navigate up to the top and type in Facebook and hit enter. And that will take you to the app store. Then navigate down and locate Facebook and Instagram. This is the app that we need to install. Go ahead and click on add app and then click on add sales channel. Navigate down and click on start setup. And in order to follow this process, there are a few things you need. You need your personal Facebook page, a business manager, or access to that business manager as an admin. Now, if you currently do not have a business manager, you do not have a Facebook business page or an Instagram business account, then what I'll do is add those relevant tutorials down in the description below this video for you to check out and set up if you currently do not have those assets. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and click on connect account. And you want to make sure that your personal profile has been established for a while. Don't go and create a new personal profile just for this process. You want to use an established profile that Facebook can recognize. If your personal profile is a new profile that you've just created, it can sometimes be flagged. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on continue with my personal profile and then continue again. Then navigate down here and this is where you want to connect your business assets like your Facebook business page or your Instagram business account. You can also navigate down to the bottom and you can create a new Facebook business page if you currently do not have one for your brand. I'm going to navigate up and then click on these two profiles for the purpose of today's tutorial and then click on connect. Then navigate up to maximum. We want to generate as much data as possible to drive conversions. Then come down and click on save. And here we can choose an existing pixel or we can create one. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new pixel. And we've gotta follow a few more steps in order to set up this pixel correctly. But first what we're gonna do is go ahead and click on confirm. Now, just quickly before I get back to this video, I just want to mention my all-in-one digital playbook that you guys might be interested in called Go Digital Now, the ultimate small business playbook. This dynamic book took me a year to create and is ideal for small business owners, new and existing, that are looking for a clear-cut digital roadmap for setting up the right tools, systems, activities, and strategies so that you can absolutely dominate online. I will add a link in the description below this video if you want to learn more about Go Digital now. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get back to this video. And then navigate over to I agree, and then click on submit for review. Give Shopify a moment to load, and then come down and click on done. And now what we need to do is head over to our Facebook business account and complete the process of setting up our pixel. To do that, you can head over to your browser and type in business.facebook.com forward slash settings, forward slash pixels. And that's gonna take you to your pixel. You wanna make sure that you have the right pixel selected, then navigate over to open in events manager. This is where we can test the events and make sure that the pixel is firing correctly. Navigate down and click on test events. You can also rename your pixel up here if you like, then come down and click on enter website URL. This is where you want to add your Shopify URL. So I'm gonna paste in my custom Shopify URL in here and then click on open website. And that will take you to your website. Then what you wanna do is click through some of the different pages and that's gonna fire some of these events. And we wanna make sure that the Facebook pixel is tracking all of these different events, all the different actions that we're making on our website. I'm gonna come down and click on checkout and then what you want to do is navigate through your cart. You want to add your information, add your payment details. And ideally what you want to do is make a purchase 
so that you can test that the purchase event is firing correctly. Okay, so once you've finished clicking on the different elements, navigating through your website, then what we can do is head back to Facebook. And if we navigate down here, you can see the events that are received. Now, if you don't see any events, it might be because you have a ad blocker on. You want to make sure that you turn off your ad blockers before going through this process. So as you can see, all of these events were triggered. Again, like I mentioned, ideally you want to make a purchase to make sure that the purchase conversion, the purchase event, is being tracked correctly. And as you can see, guys, it's as simple as that to create and set up the Facebook pixel with your Shopify store. And now you can start engaging in paid advertising activities using Facebook and Instagram. If you're interested in setting up and running your own Facebook ads, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description for you to check out. And there we have it guys, that is it for this Facebook Pixel and Shopify tutorial for beginners. Now if you have any questions about installing the Facebook Pixel on your Shopify store, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.